Hey Luke here, so I wanted to make a quick video about the using a slider bar on your harness. So, um, I recently just got a ride engine harness and I, I bought the ride engine harness because I really wanted something that wouldn't pull around on my waist, uh, particularly when I'm like switching between heel side and toe side riding. But this video isn't about the right engine harness. I just wanted to talk about the difference between a slider bar and a fixed hook and how I found that because you might be looking uh, at, at this as an option as well. And so I just wanted to let you know sort of how, how it's worked for me. So basically my hesitation on the slider bar was that it would feel a little bit too loose on you know transition turns, jumps, things like that. It might feel a little bit unstable. But I can tell you, as soon as I got out there and started riding with this, um, it didn't feel like that at all. It felt really, really comfortable actually. So equally as secure, but just you know more comfortable, uh, basically in all forms of riding for me. I just found that um, you know you'd be going out there on your heels, and it, and it feels exactly how it used to feel. And then you'd switch around to your toes, and it would just have this sort of you know streamlined movement that would allow you just that extra bit of range when you're on your toes and like that made a huge difference to my riding because I was always shifting you know in between heels and toes particularly on a surfboard if you're in the surf things like that it just made it so much more comfortable when you know it used to have to shift my harness like I used to have my harness shifting around all of the time riding up shifting 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 and especially if I was out there for a couple of hours then the harness might loosen up a little bit and I'd find it became really, really uncomfortable. Whereas the slider bar has made a huge difference. So when you've got it fitted, you can see uh, how the rope works. Basically your chicken loop is fixed you know, around the rope just as this is and it can slide from side to side. So when I'm riding on my heels, you can see it really just pulls like you normally would with a fixed hook. But when I turn around and start riding on my toes, it moves right over to the side here, which allows you to sort of bring your body around a little bit more and have a more comfortable riding stance on your toe side. And so that's probably one of the biggest reasons that I've got it. I'll just a couple of the pros and the cons. The you know the pros for this I found were that it was really it is really comfortable. So the biggest pro for me was that you put it on, you start riding, you don't even feel it moving and just a more comfortable ride. You can just, you know, relax into it a little bit more. And I'm, that was really, really good. The, the cons, I guess, for me, is that when you're self-launching or landing, it became a little bit more difficult. So with a self-launch, because you have to actually put the chicken loop around this, it means you have to sort of detach your safety system and then put it around and then rebuild it. Now, it's not a big deal. Uh, and it works fine when you're just sort of launching off the sand, but you really, I, I can't work out how you can do that with an anchor um, because of the pressure of the kite and having to try and reassemble your safety system. So I didn't really like that about it. Um, and the other thing that I didn't like was I was riding um, and while I was riding, I basically looked down and I saw that my trim strap, and this is in a below the bar deep power system, my trim strap had actually wrapped around this cord and it sort of tied itself up. And that's obviously really dangerous because if I had fired the safety system, my, my rope, my deep power rope, would have still been tied around this. Now it might have let go, it might have released and that would have been fine. Um, but it might not have as well. And so obviously I just quickly um, did that as I was riding, but that would only, you know, that was only uh, because I was in really powered condition. So I pulled about a foot of my trim strap and in a, in a below, the, um, below the bar deep power. So it allowed that rope to be out tangle. So if you're not, you know, using a below the uh, bar deep power, then it wouldn't matter at all. Um, but look, all in all, I've got to say that I'm converted. This to me is a far easier way to kite surf, particularly with my type of riding. So that's, you know, just sort of free riding, doing some jumps, things like that, but a lot of waves, you know, and just 
burning around basically this has made it really really comfortable look that's my review i mean i just wanted to give you sort of an unbiased review because i was looking when i was uh, looking to buy one i was looking online trying to work out whether or not they're any good um the the only one other thing i'd say is it is a rope so you've got to be careful maintain it make sure you, you're swapping it out if you're seeing wear on it because it's not as strong as this the, as the um as the hooks the fixed hook metal uh, hook there and of course if you're unhooking so if you're doing any 